Brian, it's not long since you've become a, a senior club and you're up to senior A after today's performance. Obviously, first half you probably won't have been happy with, but what a second half display and uh, got over the line against Bally Brown. Yeah, we're, we're delighted, obviously. Um, you know, in the conditions that were there today, it was always going to be a battle. Um, I thought we left, definitely left a few scores after us in, in the first half there, but, you know, the lads settled down and we, we came into it after 10 minutes. Bally Brown were... We've gone four points up um, after 10 minutes. So we, once we settled, we started to hurl a little bit and uh, we got the goal at the right time. It just settled us, I thought, and we were able to get a couple of scores after that. But huge battle in the second half. And, and you know, once we went ahead, in fairness, Belly Brown never stopped coming at us, which we knew they would. And, and uh, you know, it was, it was, um, it was seen to depend stuff there at times. But uh, look, we're delighted to come out with the result. You were finding it hard in the first half to, to actually to put scores together in sequence. You'd get a score, Belly Brown would come and get the next score. But in the second half, that was rectified. Is that something you spoke? about yeah we you know against uh, against Mon the last uh, in a 10 minute period after half time you know they were able to get five scores in a row and we just spoke about um if that did happen again you know how are we going to break that sequence and you know it's just about keeping that scoreboard ticking over and and keep trying to create those chances and i think uh, when the lads did that we got a couple of frees and in fairness to, to Lynchy like he, he nailed every one of them like which was brilliant and you know that kept us in the game second half time you know we got the goal at the, the right time as well because we were coming we just couldn't get into we couldn't level with, with Belly Brown but you know once we got the goal then we were able to push on but you know it was, it was um, fierce tight there for a finish but uh, you know the lads worked really really hard and, and dug it out which is great Talk about uh, promotion first of all we'll talk about the quarter final in a moment but, but to move up to group one yeah, look, there's an awful lot of work gone, gone into Munger over the last couple of years. Um, Liam Cohen has been involved with this team and has done an awful lot of work and made my job an awful lot easier this year coming in because the lads have, you know, they have a huge amount of tactical work done and I was just able to build on that, which was really good. Um, obviously, you know, I, when we spoke earlier on the year, what was a realistic target for us? You probably would have said maybe a quarter final. Obviously, some very tough games um, to go through before we got to that, but the fact that we're after getting promoted is, is huge and it's huge for the club because, um, you know, when they came up from, from Premier League Intermediate, a couple of years ago and consolidated last year at senior and we're able to push on again this year which is a great sign of maturity from the lads and you know they're learning all the time they're young but you know they're young lads as I said to Minder but there's a lot of you know good young men in there as well and they're, they're building confidence all the time and they're maturing and they're, they're improving their hurling you know. You talk about the club as a whole obviously the work at the moment going on with the facilities the booming population out that side as well and the, the underage going from strength to strength so it's important to have a senior side to look up to. Absolutely, yeah. I looked at I suppose brought a small bit of pressure as well and we're doing the club with the work that's going on there and obviously you know you want your flagship team which is a senior hurling and football team and the, and the senior camogie and, and um, foot ladies football teams going well as well so look it was important for us you know that we were to stay senior this year as well um, but I think where we've after moving to now is huge with the work that's going on there and, and you know there's huge work that's going on and it's, it's unseen by a lot of people but the fact that we're able to, to play a senior A next year and, and, and you know look forward to quarter final next week is huge and it just complements the work that's been done done in the club you know obviously a quick turnaround to the quarterfinals do you get the chance to celebrate tonight or is it straight down to business I know we will celebrate tonight I don't think I'd have much choice to be honest about it now but look I let the lads you know they'll have to enjoy themselves days like this don't come around and you know we have to enjoy, enjoy it and we'll, we'll be back we'll have recovery tomorrow evening and we'll be back training Tuesday and look we're in a quarterfinal now and we, we've, not, we've nothing to lose in that and um, we'll be really looking forward to that and we'll have a go with whoever we're playing Brian, you've been with the club all your life, obviously, as a player first off. Saw tough times with the club dropping to junior A at one stage, came straight back up. You know, the progress that's been made in Munger St Paul's GA club has been sensational. Yeah, I finished playing in 2016 when we won the Intermediate and uh, we've been up and down, a lot of tough years, a lot of tough games over the years against Bally Brown as well. Um, but the lads have made huge progress and have put in a lot of work. You know, you, you have a lot of young players coming through and the, the, the population is big there and the pick is fairly big, but you know, you need people around to put those players together and get, get them playing good hurling and, and the organisation that goes behind the, all that to put, you know, to be able to allow me to put a, to get the lads to perform and put in a performance like they did today is massive. So look, it's, the club is going in, in um, you know, the right direction, definitely both on and off the pitch. Preview.